Yeah, colors out there. This is Nathan back again. Uh, the part two of episode five, uh, comic book coloring tips and tricks. Um, let's see. Last episode of part one, we did the Nova head, doing uh, focusing on uh, flat color style. I think today, go ahead and tackle the the Hulk head here. And with that one, they're going to use a lasso airbrush uh, style. And this is probably one of the uh, most popular styles. I think everybody uh, has their own take on it. Um, you know, it's fairly simple. Uh, I guess back in the days, it used to be like a called like a cut and grad, or instead of using the airbrush tool, we used to use like the the gradient tools. Um, but I was like way back in Photoshop three. Nowadays, the airbrush is so great, you know, we'll just use that instead. Um, just getting the flats done here. I see Hulk's hair is a little uh, confusing. As you probably guess, the pencils are by uh, Mark Silvestri, and I think it was inked by Joe Weems. Let me get that. Just using my uh, uh, pencil tool. The you know the uh, with the brush and that way there I could just get like the hard edges like just like the lasso without the uh, anti alias so it works great for flats and it's just helping me uh, speed up this process I can actually think about it as I'm doing it Let's see I think oops not that little bit. Yeah, I think for our uh, purposes, I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of that in. I right, usually, first of all, what I'll do, I have like my flat colors. I'm gonna do the the Green Hulk. He's always been my favorite. Um, go ahead and select that. And usually, what I'll do, I'll pick like my medium tone. Maybe about there. I usually uh, desaturate the color a lot, and it'll help make that color, uh, the finished color, it'll make it pop a lot more. Let me get back to, let's see, around a uh, soft airbrush. I usually have my settings, like my opacity is at 100%. My flow is about 30%. And I've, I always feel like I have a lot more control over it like that. Um, might be different for you guys, but that's just the way I like to work. Uh, let me go back to my lasso tool. Um, what we're going to do, um, let me see, I have everything selected. Let me pick my green that I'm actually going to use. I have a bunch of my palette here, but I'll switch it up a little bit. Um, you know, every, every situation is going to be different. Um, so I don't really rely on the palette too much. I always like to mix my own colors and see what works best for the piece at the time. Uh, so now I'm just deselecting the areas here where uh, where my shadows are going to be. I'm going to speed the process along. Let's see, you got his nose. Right, get some bags that dark shadows under his eyes, make him look a lot more menacing. One thing about this style, I find a lot of times you have to have a, a, have a vision in your head already of what your uh, finished product is going to look like. Let's see. Oops. There we go. So now my light source is going. I'm just going to do it real simple from the uh, from the top here. So we'll have higher uh, lighting on the uh, on the forehead. A little bit on the cheekbones. Get some on the nose here, there, and the chin. Maybe not so much. Again, it's just, just with the uh, soft airbrush on the top of the ear, maybe a little bit here in the earlobe. That's so already starting to uh, take shape. All right, now go in, make our selections. Kind of following the uh, the shape of the face, like that a little bit. 
around there. Oops. So again, just kind of keep in mind where our uh, where our light source is. You blend that a little bit more. All right, the nose, the bridge of the nose is going to be a lot brighter. I usually start off including the nostrils at first, just so that that the bottom part blends a, a, a little bit better. All right. Zoom in on this, you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna hit the top of the nostrils here. Okay, let's get this brow going. Got that, and here's his lip. That to protrude, so we get that with the highlight, and then his chin. Let's see, this is gonna be his upper lip, will be in shadow, so just darken that up some more. Does that look okay? I always like to zoom out and just to double check our work. Maybe that wasn't his lip. Let me see. Let me pull this down a little bit more. Yeah, I think that works okay. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to uh, figure it out, but if you just keep messing with it long enough, you'll get it where it looks right. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I think this. Uh, Little black part here is going to be his upper lip. Let me just darken that a little bit more. Yeah, I think that works good. I'll go in now with our uh, little bit lighter color. It's going to start introducing some uh, some yellows into the green. Get a nice specular highlight on that nose so it pops more. Since the light is directly above and that nose in the forehead are gonna pop out the most. So we're gonna have those be the brightest. Alright, that looks good. Maybe a little brighter highlight on the lip right there as well. Right there on the chin. Brightest up here on his forehead here. I'm gonna carry a little bit that down on the nose. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see. Need a little bit on the top of the ears. A little bit on the ear lobes here. Not not as bright because of course it's like farther down away from the uh, the light source. All right, I think that looks uh, pretty good with the uh, eyes now. Uh, you look at eyes; eyes are never really the uh, white. Um, they're really reflective, so I'm gonna have a little bit of the green in there. Uh, let's see, well. Take out or deselect the uh, the shadow part. You can see my uh, color picker here; it's still in this green area. You get a little bit brighter. So 
I got that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, and what I like to do as well with eyes. Let me see. Get a brush with a nice tip on it. Now it's kind of paint in on the sides, like a little little bit of a, a reflection. Again, that just gives it a, a little bit more gloss to it. Makes it look like it's wet. Alright, so there's our eyes. Um, looking a little... I uh, could use a little bit more. Let's see. It'll do like a little bit more yellow in here. Just kind of brighten it up a little bit more. Make his skin look a little bit more shiny. There we go. I think that looks good right there. Um, so to kind of act that, add interest to the piece, we got uh, the opposite of the green. Let's see if I hit Command I. It'd be like that purple. Um, I think that'll complement it very nicely. Let me just pick that color. Um, and I'll do this a lot. It'll really help. Uh, the colors pop out a lot um, as far as like p trying to pick like a room like color. Uh, let's see if I just go here. Let me see how that looks. Uh, like, of course, like your room like color would also depend on uh, uh, the color, the background, uh, the area, the time of day, and everything like that. But since I'm just on a on a white background, I'm just gonna pick something that looks good against that green. Eh, looks all right, but let's, I'm gonna tell you what. Let's use like an orangish color. We'll pick up on that Hulk rage a little bit, a little bit warmer. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. There you go. And then we can also introduce that a little bit into the uh, into the shadows on him. And again, that'll add, just add more interest to the shadows and then to the piece overall. Again, it's just something that's going to be really, really subtle. So you might not notice that at first glance. You just know, it, you know, hey, that shadow looks pretty nice. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, that's why. So it has that. Okay, I think that looks uh, looks pretty good. I think we need a little bit more on this ear over here. Clean that selection up. All right. You can go. Oops. Let's add our. Uh, color balance adjustments. Uh, we can go see in the shadows, we'll get more cyan, a little bit more magenta, maybe a little bit more blue. And again, that'll darken up the shadows and really make it look nice. So you can see the before and then the after. Just adds more depth when we had like the, the cooler colors in the shadows and these yellows and the warmer colors on the, on the, for the highlights. Looks really nice. All right, let's do uh, Hulk's hair. Uh, again, I'm gonna darken this up, saturate it, or desaturate it, sorry about that. Um, like that color before. And on the hair, of course, it's like, just always remember it's like a crown, like where the light source is. So I'm gonna have it up here, maybe a little bit more on his, uh, little bit on the bangs. Uh, we'll have some of that red coming into it as well. So now I'm just making my selections. You want to kind of follow the hair, um, keeping it in groups. You don't want to do every single little hair. No, it'll take too long. Uh, plus, it won't fit the art style.
I was making quick uh, quick selections here. And I think that should look good. And pick a lighter green. Some yellow to it. That's looking pretty good so far. Uh, let's do another layer of highlights right here. This one isn't going to be as bright. It's more of a uh, reflective light, I guess. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Um, let's get, make some selections on the tips here. We'll get some of that red going in, in his hair. What I'll do, because I have some of the selections going off on the edges here. Let's go ahead and come up here and lock my layer. This first one, I'll put a lock on it. And that way there, I could just go ahead and I have to worry so much about my selections. I just go ahead and airbrush. And it's not going to airbrush off the side or anything like that. So that'll save us some time. And I think that will do it. Let me see. So yeah, here's our uh, finished rendering without the line art. And then with the line art. Um, let me see. Man, I totally forgot to uh, keep a copy of my flats on this. Let's make a selection real quick for his hair. And we'll just do the same, uh, same adjustments, except for on the highlights. Add a little bit more yellow. We lighten up the highlights on that a little bit more. Darken up the rest of that. And I think that uh, that works pretty well. Let's see how it looks. Let's see if we've set a, uh, a lighten layer on top. Maybe with this green, greenish yellow. I'll set that on, on top of here. A little highlight on top of the hair. See how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks alright. I think I'll keep it. And we could do that for uh, for the edges around here. For the red. Add more of a glow. Yeah, I think we'll just keep it on the hair. So I also like uh, working on layers a lot. Uh, I used to just work on channels, but uh, working with layers frees you up to a lot more experimenting and uh, having a lot more fun with it while you work. And I think that's going to do it for uh, for the Hulk. Um, again, it's just a lasso and airbrush technique. Uh, it could be uh, really fast, uh, down and dirty. Um, and that's going to do it for uh, for this episode. Uh, again, if you have a preference, something you'd like to see on the uh, for the next episode, uh, which one you'd like me to tackle next, uh, let me know which head, and uh, we'll see what we can do. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Uh, questions or comments, just uh, let me know. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.